And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poros. We're playing some Poro Vanyep. Uh, we got PNZ Freljord playing a competitive Poro deck, or at least hopefully competitive Poro deck. Um, we got some good interaction. Top end, we got two Professor Vanyeps help give our one cost allies plus two plus two. And our one cost allies are going to be a big part of this. Daring Poro um, with the Poro deck. Uh, definitely important. We got three of them, but then we also have three Poro Cannons that create two Daring Poros. So we got lots of Daring Poros with the Elusive, and we want to buff those up. We got the Professor Von Yip, we got Poro Snacks, we have um, Aurora Porealis making more Poro Snacks for us. We got Shared Spoils, they can also do some buffing. So lots of ways to buff up our Daring Poros. And then we just have good champions at the top end, right? Like, I know Braum works more well with the Poros, but we're trying to be a little bit more competitive here. We want some really good champions. Both Vi and Sejuani are both awesome cards. So that's going to be our top end, whether, you know, we're going to be doing some challenging or some giving something vulnerable and Frostbite. They do a great job of controlling the board for us and, and uh, allowing us to have a little bit more time, allowing our Poros to take over. Our patched Poro bot can also be elusive. If we're lucky, that's the best keyword that it can have, um, and that's our that's our Poro deck. So let's let's give it a try. So we're gonna go take it on over to ranked. We're gonna go play five games over here in Masters Rank with our Poros. We're right, playing some Nightfall, which is maybe the best deck right now. This Nightfall deck's very solid. Uh, we have a very good hand to mulligan. I kind of want to just keep Vi. Yeah, we'll keep Vi. And then we'll send the rest back. So we have at least a, a baseline of having a really good challenger with the Vi. Alright, what do you got? Tough? You, what? Built like a fort or something? Regeneration. Regeneration's not too bad. I think I just passed, though. We'll have Poro Snacks and Mighty Poro next turn. Now what you got? Lifesteal? Lifesteal, pretty cool. If only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Poros. Their scent travels on the night air. That does leave them Pale Cascade. Um, yeah, I'm still going to do it. I do think Pale Cascade is the very best spell in the game. I'm thinking about it. I think Pale Cascade's number one. No more hiding. The absolute best spell in the game. Uh, it's got to be here. Yeah, so not not champions, not units, just spells. We got tough again. I guess two three tough's not that bad. And it's either that or just discard the poro bot and get two daring poros and start going with those. You know, I'm, I'm planning on Vi next turn, Sejuani the next turn. So if we want to play poro snacks, we got to have an extra cup, you know, three mana. If not, we could have just like tough poro bot and have troll chant. I think I think we'll go with the tough. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen we haven't seen the Porobot get two keywords, right? Like we played against some people that had double keyword Porobot. That was just um, yeah, I think that was just something that was like a mistake. We haven't seen that yet, so I, I assume it's fixed. But I don't know. Yeah, I thought that too. That. Uh, whenever, whenever I first saw Vi, which you know just reads as six, that it doesn't cost six, and I was. I was sad. Vi stands for vicious. And of course, we have the troll chain as protection. Okay, that puts me to five. Their deck's really good. Okay, 
I like that Conley Tavern Keeper draw. That could be a good one. Enough Taking their time, trying to figure out how to do it. It's not it's not a very easy deck to sequence, my opponent's deck. But it's pretty strong. I'll not be surprised if we are killed next turn. My Vi is, of course, vulnerable for all time. <clears throat> the Nocturne does grant it vulnerable. That's not so good. Hopefully they cast a unit and not a burst spell <clears throat> and not an unspeakable horror. Raise your weapon, Good. Your in the door. Good, we're not dead yet. Revolution by our hands. Um All right, plus, minus. So we take one. Get to level up by. Now we'll play another. Another Conley Tavern Keeper. What will you have? So there's some clutch Conley Tavern Keepers. Um. Headed in. Let's take this outside. Freeze. All right, let's attack. See where they block over silenced. here. Down to three. We protect our own. We're so close. We won't be silenced. One point away from killing them with double Poro snacks. So close. Yeah, I was hoping they would block Sedwani. I think I think we're losing this. I think we had to win right there. We'll have to we'll have to see. I think we needed to win right there. Yeah, it was that that turn three pill cascade. Um, that dealt a lot of damage to me. Also killed my it killed my um overwhelm thing that would have been a large overwhelm unit and dealt a lot of damage to me. So they should be challenging my elusive. We want another elusive? Okay, good. So they do have to play a Nightfall card first before they're able to do that, so maybe we can get a second elusive down in here. They're gonna be killing my Vi. I assume, you know, they'll you know, Vi's still vulnerable, they'll challenge that with 3-2. And all they have to do is play. It. So they could kill Vi like that. All they'd have to do, if they want, they can also kill Sejuani by just playing another Nightfall card. So we're not looking so great. If they just kill both my champions here. Unseen, unheard, the new moon conceals you from our foes. 
lose. Mm. Alright, well that's game. Unseen, unheard, the new moon conceals you from our foes. Face your heretic! GG's. Alright, O oh and Sisters. 1, but... Um, our deck did pretty good. Really close game against a deck that I feel is maybe the most powerful, honestly. Like, that Nightfall deck's great. We were right there with them. Yep, maybe, yeah, maybe that would have saved me. Yuck. I don't want to play this matchup again. <laughs> I'm going to play against a different deck. Alright, let's see. So we'll have Daring, Patch Porobot. I like that. We'll keep the Sejuani because that card's super powerful. Let's look for some other stuff. We were peaceful once. No more hiding. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm on the North American server. Scout and Fearsome. Scout could be kind of cool. Uh. Regeneration. Hey, there we go. Thanks, Kitty Dexterity. Thanks for the cheers. They're trying to have me play something, then they play Diana, I guess. Some again. Yuck. I guess I'm playing Mighty Poro and passing. Lifesteal. Okay, lifesteal could be pretty important. Get that set up. That could be pretty important. I'm just gonna block and pass. Okay. Let's go lifesteal. Let's try to make a, a large lifesteal. We need Poro snacks, of course. Chosen of the moon. I'm keeping my two mana for Troll Chant available along with Sejuani. Pain is nothing. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Griffin, attack. Where are we at? We're at three out of four Nightfall cards. No, that's got to go over here. Start getting us some Poro snacks. That's you know gonna take some time. Gonna take some take some mana. But that can be powerful. So that levels up Nocturne. So this is eight damage. It's me to three. Now we're just so likely dead. I guess we'll try going to five. Ugh. I'm doing this 
Yeah, I guess I could have. Yeah, I guess maybe that's what I should have done was the, the get Poro snacks and then be able to block Fearsome. Uh, maybe I should have done that. Fearsome and tough. Alright, so we're healing three. So they gotta have like the the three twos, the drain. Oh, they got more of these. But why? Yeah, why even play that other one? So that was just a waste. They don't even need to play this with Nightfall. That was just a waste. Ours is the one true light. You own what you take. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. Would you believe he won't fit in my hand? <laughs> so I can block two. Unfortunately, that's going to kill me. Now with that drain, I can only block two. And that deck's really good. I hope we play against something else. <laughs> Frostbite midrange, another great deck. Now we're playing some great decks here. All right, so we're going to probably mulligan everything except for Vi. Maybe I'm supposed to keep Poro snacks. I guess I'll keep Poro snacks. Okay. Poro Cannon to go along with the Poro Snacks. I think I want Thermogenic Beam to try to kill Ash over Troll Chan. Oh, hey, Pope. GG's. These old eyes still see far and clear. In Avarosa's name. All right, an old-fashioned race. Race with the elusives. Oh no, Professor! Will no one listen? Poor man's gone. Professor. Man. All right, so no, no Ash yet, at least. Um, I think I kind of have to thermogenic beam here. I mean, I don't have to, but I think that's my best play. For the homestead. What, what were you barking about, Harvey? What are you barking about? One girl wrecking crew. Not and ready. That's not nice. That's not nice putting Vi on ice. Boo. Are right, gonna go like double kindly tavern keeper 
here to help out our racing situation. Yeah, yeah, Terra Draven went 5-0 in Masters. We we went undefeated last time we played that deck too, last week. We were like we finished one win away from Masters last time, so it was in the what Diamond or Um I've got meat bigger than you. So I've gone Um I've gone ten and 0 with that Terra Draven deck. Yeah, all, we're playing all these in Masters today. You're like, well, that's that's our rank. Elusive? Why do I always get fearsome? I don't want fearsome. Here comes the punchline. Punch it. So I think there's like a Halloween party from like my my backdoor neighbor. They have like a like big inflatable things that are like ten feet tall and stuff. And like it's like a kids party, um, and so Harvey's just at the back door barking. <laughs> um. this. Move it. So they're gonna play their frostbite cards, which are gonna level up Ash, and then I have to play Troll Chant. I don't really want to play Troll Chant though. I'm just gonna do this actually. All right, so I'll be right back. Avarosa, guide me. All right, so this is us going to be losing. They're going to get the crystal arrow. And this game is over. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I might as well play you this right now. You don't get frostbitten by Crystal Arrow. Well, like, they can target the 3 4, but then I can play the Troll Chant. Still me taking way too much. You gotta be kidding me. GG's there, Wolf. Good game. Such Wani Callista. Alright, I guess we keep all of these. Sajwani can be some important removal. Same with Thermogenic Beam. You know, definitely worried about Callista. Turn three. Then we get like some blockers for our Poros. Follow along, little ones. I don't think we need Fury. <clears throat> Challenger? It's interesting. What have I told you? Stay out of there. Too. Hmm. I guess I just play Mighty Poro. 
and just have it trade with 4-3. Or I could do the same thing with Tavern Keeper and have Cavern Tavern like so Tavern Keeper doesn't won't heal at my Nexus 3 at all right now, right? Because like we're at 20, or it can heal later. But Mighty Poro could be a larger overwhelm threat later, where Tavern Keeper is always just gonna be this little 3-3. Um, I guess I'll keep the healing Nexus 3 over the potentially larger Overwhelm. When well, it's not certainly larger Overwhelm. So I could throw a Jug Beam the Escaped Abomination, but it is the one one that we can block with Jubilant Poro. One girl wrecking crew. Could also challenge it with the Patch Poro Bont. Here's the fun part. Eat this. You're gonna have like Fury of the North or something? No. <laughs> Never glade collector. Bow to no one. Ouch, because like one more mana would be really nice, because obviously we could we could set Juani here. Now I wish I wish I would have spent the one mana and killed the escaped abomination from before. So now I guess okay, so Troll Chant does save Vi, so I guess I'm gonna be doing Troll Chant to save Vi, and that will leave me with five mana. Which five mana we can have? Thermogenic beam, kill Neverglade collector. Let's get to the fun that is part. one extra mana. Let's let's play this thing right now while it's free. Ride onward. <clears throat> which I guess I could kill Sejuani also if we want to kill Sejuani instead of Neverglade. Hmm. I think it's better to kill Neverglade. And kill Sejuani next turn with my Sejuani. Don't take any drains. That's seven. The chains, they never stop. Carved from the savage cold. Not quite Vi level up. Coming at ya. So they're not blocking with the 4 1, which is making me hope they don't have They Who Endure, right? They're not just wanting another thing to die for They Who Endure. So it's giving me a little bit of hope. Looking into the future, I see. Yeah, Warden Spray is awesome. That could be a good card. Pain is nothing. I could replace the Vi. Yeah, Vi normally has four health. I was gonna say, like, well, I guess I could heal, but Vi only has four health, so it's still gonna die. The Mentor of the Stones also gets to pump up to Sejuani. Vi still dies. I think I just let Vi die. I could replace it, but I don't really want to block the large Sejuani I, like, I don't even really want to block that with, like, this Sejuani, right? So, like, I don't have anything good to block that other Sejuani with. Um. Show them our teeth. Oh, I, sh I should play the Aurora Porealis to do one damage to their Sejuani. That, sh that thing should be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Challenger, love it.
All right, we're going to go ahead and attack. We'll pull Sejuani over here. We're going to cast some Poros next. And hopefully get the job done. So that's not enough. That's still not enough. With it being, you know, they who endure deck, they don't usually have that much interaction. Even a Vengeance, they die. They they could have, like, Vengeance plus Unspeakable Horror. They have, like, Grasp the Undying plus Unspeakable Horror. Uh, Atrocity with Unspeakable Horror. That's, that's the same as Vengeance. Alright, that keeps them alive. Good play by them. All right, good play by them. So please no, please no they who endure. Oh, I love this Edgewani. That frostbite's a they who endure. That's great. So basically, what they need to win is they need they need an atrocity right now. Or sorry, sorry, they need a they who endure now and then atrocity next turn for like whenever I attack they atrocity and kill me with like a twelve twelve. That's what they need to win. Well, it's got to be like a fifteen fifteen because we're gonna have Tower Keeper. Okay, so just going to attacks. Means I'm taking a lot. So yeah, if they have atrocity, I could do it. Put me down to six. So I, I'm gonna go mighty or uh, tavern keeper first to go back to nine. All right, so they have to atrocity next turn. So I, I need to Sejuani next turn. So this turn we can play our other two things. So I guess we get Fury with this patch portal box. I'm casting it now. Okay, I guess they, they're not gonna try to draw atrocity. And we get a win. It's, it's really hard to make Heart of the Fluff be real competitive. We've seen both of our champions be very important in our deck. They've both been, they've both been great. Um, I'll mulligan the two Thermogenic Beams, but Thermogenic Beam may be something we need for like a Swain. Um, but we're going to mulligan both of them. All right, I hope Daring Poro gets to hit them on turn three. I think I go Mighty Poro first. I don't know. We're inviting Make It Rain, that's for sure, by going with Mighty Poro first. And we're still still inviting Mega Rain. You know, like I do that, I attack, they make a rain, block the two two. Yeah, Mega Rain cost three. It would have been before they played the Dreadway deck hand, but I, I attacked first at that point. Um. So I'm doing this for show. I'm doing that for show. I want my opponent to play something first, like play Swain. Thank you. I don't need a 
think I still do this trade with the 2-2. It's so easy for them to just kill a one health thing. I'll just do that trade. And of course does does some damage to them to help level up our Sejuani. So that's important as well. So Tavern Keeper can heal the Vi. Both of my champions are pretty good right now. Which one do we want to play? Which champion do we want to play? So assuming they go like Twisted Fate gold card now and then like Leviathan next turn. Like that's what I'm kind of thinking. Like if that's if that's gonna be the thing, if they're gonna go like Twisted Fate gold card and they're gonna play Leviathan, like how do I want to sequence those? Um Not sure. I'm gonna go with the Sejuani though. May need Vi to help take down a Leviathan. You know, hopefully. Two and one. So that probably means no Riptide Rex, right? Like, why would they do that with Riptide Rex? Another Scorched Earth. Ouch. You'll fight or you'll swim. Hildover and Forcer on the scene. All right, love that Poro Snacks. Oh, that's a rough. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a rough Mega Rain. Um, yeah, my Poro Snacks doesn't actually save anything. It at least doesn't do damage to me if they have Riptide Rex. No, no reason to tell them about Poro Snacks right now. It just doesn't, you know, wouldn't do a single thing. Alice, please. That's not too bad. Prepare the cargo. That's why it's good against another Leviathan. Oh, what a great house spider. Don't get to just open it. Don't get to just do 12 damage to them. Now, where did that one run off to? All right, what do you got? Spell shield? I don't really need spell shield. Vision to see what others. Hmm. I'm not afraid. Just a wee bit late. I'm pretty surprised they didn't just kill my Vi right there. Coming at ya. Where did they go off to? Pretty surprised they didn't kill the Vi right there. Like they're doing it now, but if they if they would have just done that first, then I can't attack with any of these other things also. Uh, 
<sighs> so I have to play Patch Boro Bot to block. I don't really want to. I don't really want to take seven, though. Okay. Doesn't die now. Wow, what a great card. Salvage. We have three Aru Porial Aurora Porealis in here. Why can't we get one of those? This looked good for us, but then they just kind of had the, the better top end of Leviathan. Le you know, double Leviathan. Um. And then, yeah, drawing that salvage is awesome. One of our champions, or Aurora, Aurora Porealis. I can't ever pronounce that card. Aurora Porealis. Never lost a fair game. Dang. Something for all. Such little love. All right, come on, Aurora Porealis. They should definitely be blue carding there, by the way. That was a bad move by them. I was saying that 3-2 would get through. Yeah. Josephate did call our bluff. Josephate did call our bluff. I guess if they have Riptide Rex, we're just dead. I'm going to say we don't want it to kill our patched portal bot, but if they do have it, we're dead. Merely pawns in a greater game. I wonder why they did that then. And not now. I wanted to cast the. I wanted to do damage to them, cast the other thing first, and then, you know, discard, and then be able to play these. Obviously, I wanted to be able to do that. Hey, really powerful wizard! Thank you so much uh, for that resub. I appreciate that. All right, let's go troll chant. Let's save our daring Poro. Because we're going to draw Aurora Porealis. We have three of them in here. We're going to draw one. And we're going to get these... All these pow all these uh, Poro snacks. It's going to be great. Here it is. Right here. Tough. Alright, not quite. Do I play 4-5 Toph? I guess I do. I guess we just play 4-5 Toph. <laughs> Yuck. We live here. Their time has come. Try again. That was another great draw for them. Come on, Porealis. Never. We're just getting just one card a turn. So this would put me down to one if they attack out. Um, but it would leave them with just a 2-2. Two -two. Well 
Could be a well-timed tavern keeper. Alright, so they drew a spell. So we've seen three... I guess we've seen three of our six champions and no Aurora Porealis. So we have those six cards. Finally! Bottom 14 cards. We fi finally found one. Finally. Alright, you're not killing my mighty Poro. That easy. Did not turn on Plunder, if that's Riptide Rex. I hope it is. Hope that was Riptide Rex, so they just didn't turn on the Plunder. GG's! Alright! Not that win, that was a crazy game. Um, yeah, that was that was pretty big. The where my opponent my opponent messed that I mean my opponent really should have won that game. The twisted fate that they went red card that was just a useless red card. They really should have gone blue card. Like if they go blue card there and they just have like all of those cards a little bit before they would have like that make it rain before whenever I only had two things they would be able to do the damage to me which would have killed me. But then they also you know could have had that Riptide Rex turn earlier and everything like that. Um, yeah, they really should have blue carded. Um, finally, we got that Aurora Poriala. So, yeah, I mean, I think I think this is definitely a competitive Poro deck. You know, it's not easy to make Poros competitive, and I think this is it. I think that we did run into two of maybe our worst matchups, those first two, with the, the Nightfall deck, the, the mid-range, uh, the Frostbite deck. Both of those are great mid-range decks that are going to be pretty tough to stop with Poros and... Yeah, I think that those were those are just some tough matchups, um, but they were still close. You know, we made it close. Obviously, those wins that we had were close. Also, just um, you know, like we were playing just close games back and forth, and I, I think that's a good showing for our Poro deck. Didn't get to have any power with Professor Von Yip. I kind of forgot that we had Von Yip in our deck. To be honest, <laughs> forgot about that one. Um, but. Uh, yeah, pretty sweet. Like, I, I like this top end. I like Vi, Aurora Porealis, and Sejuani for the top end. I think that's good. Um, Thermogenic Beam, did, did, did it did its job. You know, we took out down two Leviathans with this. I was a little skeptical about three of these, but it did its job, and it, it performed pretty well throughout the games, so I liked that. Yeah, I think everything everything performed pretty well, except for Professor Von Yip, because we just basically never had it. We had it the one game whenever we were already dead, is whenever we drew it. Um, that's So that's the only time we drew it, so we didn't really get to to see it do anything um okay if you if you have to replace a, a champion yeah like i i wouldn't recommend replacing a champion but if you have to other options are of course braum and trundle um i think that vi and sejuani were the best things to be playing here um they're both kind of similar though so like if you if you got to replace one it doesn't really matter which one you replace with one of these like uh both of, both of these are they're very close um so yeah, it doesn't doesn't really matter. Yeah, maybe we just don't need Professor Von Yip. I could I could absolutely see this deck just not playing Professor Von Yip and then just playing like another Mighty Poro and another Troll Chant. Like Troll Chant's good, Mighty Poro's good. Like Mystic Shot's another good card that we're not playing at all. I could see just playing more Troll Chant, Mighty Poro, Mystic Shot, Poro Herder. Another, you know, Poro Herder is also good. I could see just playing more of, of those cards, these cards, and just not playing Professor Von Yip at all. I think that's that's what I would... Um, I think Chariot Spoils at 2 is good. I wouldn't play 3. I like it at 2. But Poro Herder, Troll Chant, Mighty Poro, and Mystic Shot are all cards that we could add. And so we could replace Von Yip there. Alright, but that's Poro Von Yip. For those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I hope you enjoyed seeing some uh, Poros in Masters. Um, and uh, there we go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.